Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how we can make a Ninja Turtle from our little ball. And we're going to need a single loom and it's going to be set so that the bases of the loom, you're going to have the, the first small one over all three. The second larger one is just going to be over column two and three and we'll leave column one without it so that we can move column one to become column four and then the last one is going to be covering those three as well. It's going to be in a standard configuration where all the columns are the same height and the arrow is going to be facing towards you. You're going to need three colours, um, whichever colour you're choosing for his bandana, I'm choosing red, green for his skin and black for his mouth and then I'm also going to be using some of the mini pony beads, the little small pony beads for his eyes. Okay, so we'll get started. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs as if they were a single band. And we're going to be doing 11 columns and they're going to be six um, rows. So let's get started. The first four columns are going to be exactly the same. You're going to be doing a pair of green followed by a pair of green followed by a pair of red. That's three, four, five, and six and every single column is going to finish in an end cap so you take a single band wrap it round your fingers twice and pop it on the end like that now on this first one we're also going to do part of his bandana so taking a single red band poke your hook through it and I'll try and go slowly wrap it round once twice and three times Take two red bands, or whatever colour you're using for the bandana, and slide the ones that you just wrapped on your hook onto those. Reclaim the end of those bands. We're going to do this another couple of times. Slide it on like that. Oops, just two, not three, Kate. <laughs> another two, and we'll do one more one more pair like that and we're going to pop that on the top of the red bands like that that's going to be one side so let's finish laying the bands for our next columns Now normally for something like this, if you want to do it quick and easy, you'd use an extended loom. And in this case, because we need 11 columns, that would be four, four looms. Not many people have four looms just lying around, so that's why I thought it would be a good idea to try and do this on a single loom. So we're doing our end caps single band, wrap it round twice. If you do have four looms, you just put all of these columns um, out at the same time and stretch your crossover bands across and loop it all up. It's nice and easy. So our crossover bands, talking of them, is a single band, green, and I'm going to place it across all three of the columns underneath that red bandana bit. Oops, nearly missed one. And with the crossover band what we're going to do is stretch it across all our new columns as we make them. We're going to start by digging down past that end cap, grabbing the two bands, hold the end cap in place so it doesn't flip off, and we'll loom this up. And we're going to loom the first two columns. Okay. 
push past those crossover bands with the back of your hook to just grab the two bottom bands. Okay, so dig past the end cap, loom up, push the crossover bands back so you can expose those two bands and loom up. We're just going to do the first two. Now what we're going to do is using a spare hook, a pencil, whatever, you're going to use it as a holding hook. So push it down through the bands on the first one and we're going to take this off the loom. The first one comes off the loom and just leave it to one side. We're then going to take this row of pegs off our loom and move it to position number four. Okay, turn your loom upside down and using your um, rainbow loom hook which has the base removal part on the end of it you're going to take these two smaller bases off and we're going to move them up like this so that they have an exposed area for the next row but the big base is holding all three together so now we'll lay the bands for our next row which is going to be column I'm sorry uh, number four so as I said it's going to be the same as one two and three and you will need to put an end cap on and then we mustn't forget that we need to stretch these crossover bands over to incorporate that next new column okay now we're ready to loom up the middle column and just the middle not the not the new one that we just made like that. Now we can take column number two off our loom. Okay, keep it on the holding hook. We're going to remove column number two and move it over here so it becomes number five. Turn your loom over and we're going to take the big base off our loom and we're going to move it up so that it now becomes an area where we can put column number six. So we're going to lay the bands for column number five. Now column number five is going to be a bit different. We're going to start with two green and then we go to two pair of red. So the first pair here and then the second pair and then we're going to do three pair of green. and an end cap. Oops. There we go. Pull your crossover bands over to incorporate the new column. And we're going to loom up our middle row. Column. Gosh, I need more coffee. I'm getting my merge waddled. Okay, let's take the next one off. And we will move this column of pegs to the next position. This is going to be position number six. Number six is special. We need to put an eye on it. It's going to be the same as column five, nearly. <laughs> Start with two green and then we're going to do two red for the bandana, another two red, two green, two 
to black and another two green. Now, the way I'm doing this is actually going to have a very small mouth and what we might want to do is make his mouth bigger. So what I'm going to do is take this green band off here and replace it with two black so that he has a bigger looking mouth. Sorry, I faffed you around. Place my bands back. Okay, so move your crossover bands over to incorporate that new column and we'll loom up number five. If you don't want his mouth bigger that's fine you can just leave it and we'll take this off the loom. We're going to turn our loom upside down and move the smaller basis so that we can take um, the column of pegs across to that one. Here we go. Oops. Make sure they're all lined up. Okay, now before we go further, we need to add an eye to this. I nearly forgot. That would have been bad. He would have been eyeless. Take this crossover band and just put it somewhere else for the, for the meantime. You're going to take one of these red bands, okay? And we're going to slide our little mini pony bead. I'm putting it onto my 2.75 hook. But you need to thread it onto that single red band. So you've got one red band with the bead on and one red band under it without a bead on. Then put your crossover band back. Okay, let's do our next one. And two black bands for his mouth. We need end caps on both of these. I didn't put one on the other one. One. Yep, oh, that's a black band. That's not going to work as a very good end cap, is it? Let's try a green one. There we go. Now, the other thing is, these crossover bands really only stretch across five and maximum six columns. So we need a new one. So what I'm going to do is for every place we've got a crossover band, I'm going to take a single band and put it across the last two columns like this. And that will be our new crossover band so we don't get the bands too tight. Okay, so we're going to loom up our middle column. Push back behind those crossover bands with the back of your hook so that you're just looming up those two bottom bands. Okay, turn our loom over and we'll move the big base up so that it can take the next column. Let's take this off the loom and we'll move this column of pegs to our new spot. Okay, this is going to be number eight now. Do you remember we need to put an eye here? I nearly forgot again. Take the crossover okay. band up. I'm putting my bead onto my hook, grabbing that first red band and I'm going to slide my bead onto it and replace it. So again the bead is on the top red band the other red band has no bead on it. Replace the crossover band. Alright, now we're on number 8. We're still going to do two green
pair of red, one more pair of red, a pair of green, one more pair of black for his mouth, and that's the last time we need to do that for his mouth, another pair of green, and a cross, uh, end cap. Pull the crossover bands over to incorporate that new column. And now we loom up this middle one. Hold the end cap in place. We're ready to take this one off the loom. And we need to turn our loom over and move the smaller bases up. Like that. And then let's take these off and move it across. Now we're on number nine. So we're going back to doing two green, two green, two red, and then finish off with green. And an end cap going to say crossover band. <laughs> Pull the crossover bands over to incorporate that new column and we'll loom up the middle one. Oops, I got part of my little end cap stuck there but it doesn't matter because it's actually already loomed in. Okay, so let's take this one off our loom. Move our big base up. Take the row and move it. And we'll lay our bands for column number 10. It's going to be exactly the same as column number nine. Our end cap. Oh, I said it right. Single band, stretch it twice, wrap it around. And then pull our crossover bands over. Loom up the middle row. Take this one off the loom. Turn the loom over and for the last time we'll move these bases. and the column of pegs and this will be our last column number 11 and it's going to be the same as the one before it as well two green two red end cap pull these crossover bands over to incorporate this column in now before we finish we're going to do another bandana bit take a red band wrap it around your hook once twice and three times and then we're going to use pairs of red so two, two red on your hook and slide those ones onto it 
into the middle and reclaim 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 I'm going to do this one a little bit longer than the, the one at the front because I'm going to put the one at the front through this one so I'll do an extra pair of bands longer there we go reclaim it onto my hook and I'm going to place that on the top of the red band here and now we can loom up both of these columns so push down past your end cap you grab the bands off the loom. We're done with that. Oops. There we are. Take everything off the loom. Move your loom out the way. What we're going to do now, see here's his face here, is we're going to take a single green band and we're going to move everything from this top row here onto the green band. Move it over. I really need to get a better holding hook because this one is horrible. It's so sharp. And turning it with the way of the eyes, put one side over the other like that, and then the one closest, the band closest to you, up, over, and off so that you're going to have a little snip, slip knot eventually. <laughs> okay. Now on this side we're going to gather up all of these little end caps. So you should find three bands, three little loops for the end cap, like that. So we want all of them on our hook. like that and then we're going to take a single green band and we will move all of these end caps onto this band and again you're going to take one side of the band and reclaim it onto your hook and then the one closest to you up over and off so we've basically got these two bands and we want them to meet up. So what we're going to do is take another green single band, place it on, the, on your hook, move this loop here up over your hook and onto that band like that. Reclaim the end of the band and take the side closest to you up, over and off and you've tied a knot and effectively um, made a longer band and what we're going to do is sew it. <laughs> um, so dig your hook from the inside of the ball to the out, grab the band loop and pull it through. I try and get the knot hidden so it's inside as well. Turn it around and you're going to do the same the other side. And we're just going to thread 
this longer band through all of these I'm going to stop roughly where these two bandana bits are and then with this one I'm going to oops, let's not lose that, thank you very much I'm going to bring this one down by just pushing my hook through grabbing the end of that band and pulling it through then I'm going to take the one closest to me up over and off so I'm left with one band and I'm going to put that around one of these bandana pieces here Okay. then what I'm going to do is thread this bandana through the other side push my hook through this way grab the end cap and pull it through and that is how we do the, the back of the bandana then you need to sort of squidge your ball a bit so that it's uh, not so oblongy overly so here we have our finished little ninja turtle head with bandana and eyes as I said if you feel that he's a bit squidged in poke your hook through you can stuff him with something some people have found that um, putting cotton wool inside works they make fantastic cat toys if you put a bell inside them <laughs> so um, have fun with it look forward to seeing yours take care